Hello my Sock Hateyvers, it is so good to not be talking about a loss by Lusk, so very happy to have that. And as I will say later on, we had a nice family outing, it was the first time this season that the entire family went and we got the first win, we got an exciting game as well. Although I would argue if you're a coach, this was not the game that you wanted to see. Quick caveat, everything that is shot on this full background is shot at the same time that the Milan Derby is starting, which I have here on the screen, so if I see seem a little bit distracted it's because of that i'm expecting the worst we won yes it's the perfect, it's the perfect weekend. weekend it was actually quite an exciting round in austria overall we had not only the exciting game for lusk we had the top of the table switching three times for the first time ever, Blauweiss Linz took the lead in the table on Saturday. It's a very uneven table because of so many games being cancelled. And then we had Wolfsburg taking top spot after the early kickoffs. And then in the end, it's Rapid Vienna who are now top of the table, as we will see. Because both Sturm Graz and Salzburg did not get wins after their relatively poor showings in the Champions League. Especially Salzburg, I have to point the finger at you. And lastly, all the rainfalls are over. We had actually brilliant weather this weekend. This was the perfect weather to go to the stadium you know nice warm weather and then it cools down in, in the evening i absolutely love this let's quickly summarize the games again these are longer edits from the short videos that i have published already in the duel of the two and very unlikely top scorers in austria Altach took on Blauweiss Linz and both teams more or less neutralized themselves for the entirety of the first half. Very, very few chances. Then in the second half, it started out with a brilliant counterattack from Blauweiss Linz going through five players over the entire field. It ends up with Ronnie Waldo who takes a shot from outside the box into the corner and it's 1-0 for Blauweiss Linz. On the other side, Gustavo Sanch, Altach's top scorer, only hit the post from a very acute angle from far out. So he was not on target, Ronnie Waldo was on target. Blauweiss Linz win. And at least for one day, they're actually for the first time ever top of the table. Hartberg were seconds away from getting their first win of the season. They had an early through Philofa, controlled larger game. Yes, Klangfurt came back, got an equalizer to Bobsian, but then Getzos is sent off with a red card inside the box and he was even claiming that he was fouled. There was no foul there <laughs> from the striker. And Mijic downs the penalty in the 78th minute and Hartberg really looked like they're hanging on with a little bit of luck. They could have made it even 3-1. And then goalie Salinger makes the exact same mistake just on the other end that he did last season in the championship round when he comes out doesn't play the ball but the Klagenfurt attacker it's a penalty and in the 96th minute Bob Zien makes it 2-2 points drop for Hartberg that much is for certain yes the losing streak is snapped after five games Lusk finally win a game again the first one at home first one on new coach Markus Schopp also the was the first game that the entire family went there and we had a rather entertaining game 4-2 cannot complain about that one from an entertainment point of view from a playing point of view yeah there were a few complaints that much is for certain but it's also for certain that we need to go more often as the whole family to the games ahead of the game which was played in near perfect weather I had the expectation that yeah there might be goals in there because GRK always keep on going for player high line so they open on the back and I thought if Lusk can take advantage of that I think there are goals in this game <laughs> Also did not hurt that Robert Schul after his broken nose 
goes back in the squad and every attacking move suddenly made a whole lot more sense and you saw it already after corner kick when Smoltrich headed it wide but then the 1-0 came and Berisha saved the ball with his back heel back to Schul at the edge of the box he plays to Berisha back to Schul back to Berisha takes another touch into the net one of the most beautiful goals I've seen Lusk score in quite a while and then they all thought we have to do it now with heels they were a little bit too cute fortunately enough Schul plays a beautiful long ball onto Bello he's brought down in a box it took VAR forever to decide that it's a penalty Ljubicic steps up and I'll let you watch the penalty right here And I think almost everybody thought, yeah, this game is in the bag. <laughs> but I knew that with GRK, and there's also previous, back in, in the 90s, I remember, leading a 2-0 game, and then it was only 2-2. They came, unfortunately, back rather quickly. They came into the box, Vucic takes a shot, it's deflected by Smolcic into the net. And it's basically you scoring another own goal. Then kind of the game slowed down a little bit. It was after half, half an hour. It was only a Ljubicic chance. That was not that much. Right after they have another own goal. And this time a real one well cross over. Lichtenberger takes the shot and Berisha fumbles it over the line. Uh, really annoying this one. And I thought, man, can't we just hold on to a lead for once and not concede goals left and right? Fortunately, Shop reacted relatively quickly, made a triple substitution, brought on Talavera, Stojkovic and Taui, and that actually got back the intensity in, in the game, and it was then a long ball to Stojkovic, who plays it over to Ljubic, who taps in, was given an offside for, at first, but there was never an offside. Last retake the lead, and then it was more or less, yeah, tense moments. Can we hang on to that one, or will we give up another one? I was so tense, you know, my wife tried to hug me and said, you know, I don't mind, but I'm really so tense. I'm not really in the mood right now. She said, calm down, calm down. They will score a fourth one. It will end 4-2. I should listen to my wife a whole lot more because that's exactly how it happened. Yes, the game was not pretty. Then Max Antrup came on first appearance for Lusk as well. And after a kick out from Siebenhandel, Antrup takes ball down the ball, plays it beautifully over to Taui, who by the inside of the crossbar makes it 4-2 more or less with the last kick of the game celebrations i'm super happy that this losing streak is finally finally snapped In the early Sunday kick of Wolfsburg made sure that Sturm Graz truly had a rotten week after losing to Brest in the Champions League. They lose at home 3-0. Despite the game being relatively open with Sturm Graz creating more of the chances, it was a miscommunication playing out from the back where Kitteschwil loses the ball to Tierno Ballo at the edge of the box who just yanks it in in the 20th minute to make it 1-0 for Wolfsburg. A lead that maybe in terms of chances was a bit lucky but over if you watch the game was not that undeserved. Second half more of the same Sturm Graz creating chances not really lucky in converting them and with the second shot on goal Atanga and this was a true screamer makes it 2-0 in the 72nd minute and then laid on after tons of corners that were all played and out on the corner flag Koisek gets the corner turns around another Sturm Graz player and then runs along the goal line towards the goal and yanks it in the near corner brilliant goal I gotta say very much a FIFA goal Salzburg's form also didn't really improve. They only managed a goalless draw at Tyrol, a game where they just were stalled and late and probably could have even lost it. And ever since they took the break for Champions League qualification, Salzburg have hit a rough spot. <laughs> And then the round was crowned by the small matter of the Vienna Derby, where Rapid Vienna got their second consecutive home win after not being able to win in their new stadium against their eternal rivals. This time they win it 2-1, they had early chances, took them the lead a little bit by luck after an hour cross got deflected onto the head of Bailo. Then Austria Vienna got more into the game and when they got the equalizer just before the halftime, I thought this was probably a deserved equalizer. However, second half was more or less all Rapid Seidel, give them the lead again and there were plenty of chances to make it. 3-1 if not 4-1 if you would like. Unfortunately the game was then overshadowed by a Rapid fans attacking the Austria Vienna uh, fans in the curve. Ugly scenes left and right. I have to ask where was security? Where was the police? That is something we gotta watch. 
now that the dust has settled a little bit a little bit more on the ugly scenes in the stadium i was probably too quick to judge to say rapid fans attack the austria vienna sector that's what it seemed like on tv with fans of rapid on the field however it seems now like that the whole thing started by austria vienna fans hurling flares into the stands where the families are sitting which of course is near and dear to my heart because we're sitting in a family stand as well and then of course there's retaliation both sets of fans on the field at least one a fan was injured a couple of police was also injured it's still murky what is happening what will be happening the biggest consequence of this could of course be that rapid are deducted points because they have been conditionally punished after the last derby that if anything else is gonna happen a points deduction is gonna come now this could become a reality honestly if it really was initiated by austria vienna fans i would hope that rapid is not gonna get punished for that because that would set a horrific precedent i also think it doesn't really feel right however if the investigation is that both sets of fans were actually willing to fight each other from the outset then i think this is a whole different story i know a point seduction would benefit other teams even probably my team but i have to say it would not feel right this way and i hope there will not be a points deduction that's at least how i feel at this very moment what's really annoying is that now rapid had the second derby win at home in a row and in both cases after the game no one is talking about the game and this is something that rapid will have to look seriously into it because that cannot be it cannot be that you go to a game and you're fearing for violence at least not at this day and age look at the milan derby huge rivalry but both sets of fans have agreed that people should not worry going to that game and this is something that in vienna should also happen With so many games that have already been postponed, the table at the moment is rather uneven. Despite me showing you the current standings when I was talking about the games, I just want to mention this one more time. Yes, Rapid is ahead of Wolfsburg, but those teams have all played seven games. If Sturm Graz win their game in hand, which they will play now in the midweek, they can go top of the table. And also Salzburg have two games in hand, meaning they could go even ahead of Sturm Graz. So therefore, it is rather uneven at the moment. That's why I actually do like the adjusted standings a little bit more, where we are actually completely tied between Rapid Salzburg and Sturm Graz is just head to head and make Rapid stay on the top and it's not a foregone conclusion that all these games will actually be won because makeup games are never fun to be honest. When it comes to the upcoming game this week, it's a little bit messy because there are makeup cup games, there are makeup games from the previous round that was due to the torrential rain and then there is the proper round that is coming on on the weekend i would say let's go chronologically with some cup games lusk have to go to Sport Union Mauer. The game should have been played last week, but because of the waterlogged pitches for all of these games in Vienna, it wasn't possible. So Lask have to play at Sport Union Mauer. Rapid play in Vienna against Donaufeld, a team that used to play in the Happer Stadion. I don't think they do that anymore. And Red Bull Salzburg is going to Wiener Victoria, where none other than Tony Polster is the coach. Then on the same day, Wednesday, we actually have quite an interesting one between Austria Vienna and Sturm Graz. And then on Thursday, we have Hardware against Tirol. The salzburg Langford game is one that has yet to be scheduled because Salzburg's schedule is full thanks to the Champions League. And it's really a question, when can this be played? Probably mid to late December, which is not ideal to be honest. And then I think all the good games of round eight are on Saturday already. And we have a top duel but that no one would have expected. Blau-Weiß Linz against Sturm Graz. But we also have Salzburg hosting Austria Vienna, kind of a little bit of a classic, and then Rapid hosting Lusk, a game that I usually would look forward to, but given the form of Lusk, I don't trust it. I think Rapid is a much better team at the moment, so I don't have high hopes for this one. I don't quite understand why GRK against Klagenfurt is the top game of the round. So that was it from me, with good news from the Austria Bundesliga, Lask winning again. Yes, I'm relieved. I also had a fun time with my family. And you could also feel the relief among the players and the coaching staff, because that was a rotten streak. It is over. I hope they don't start a new one now, because I think not everything is well yet in Lask land. At least players are coming back, and I hope that we should. And with Entrup, those two, I think, will elevate the game for Lask. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. 
and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my Austrian Bundesliga universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!